Aloha everyone. Uh, so glad you could be with me today. I'm just about to go through some basics for singing. I'm going to talk about what you can do in warm-ups and to create good new habits to build uh, support and power in your sound. So I always start with the breath because that's like the, the foundation of everything. Yeah. So we're going to go through that. Some of you may have seen uh, my other video about breathing, but I'm just going to go through it quickly because it's just that important. So when you breathe normally, often you don't think about um, where it's coming into the body. What we want to do for singing is make sure that we're taking it really low into the body. So when we breathe normally, you often see this sort of movement and we want to avoid that because what that does is it creates tension in your shoulders around here your throat starts to get tight you get a little lightheaded and we're not getting the air low enough in the body for us to be able to use the right muscles to support our sound yeah so if you put your hands on your stomach we're going to imagine we're sipping in through a straw and filling up a balloon in the stomach so we want to relax the shoulders as you breathe in you should feel a drop or they should at least stay neutral none of this okay so put your hand here and we're going to breathe in together so breathing in and breathing out this is a good one to practice in front of a mirror because um, you can really see if your shoulders are staying the same or if they're lifting or not yeah um, when we breathe in the stomach comes out and as you breathe out, the stomach comes in, which can be opposite to what a lot of people are used, used to. So put your hands down here. We're going to breathe in again, breathing in. Good. And breathing out. Nice. Okay. Once you've got that down on the single breath, um, I want you to start a breathing uh, capacity exercise. So we're going to build breath capacity using a metronome so you can get a metronome app um, this one's free it's really handy because there's a lot of things we do for warm-ups and in singing that needs um, good rhythm so this is going to be put to 60 to 70 bpm i'm going to start with 65 when it's faster it's easier and when it's slower it's harder so what we're going to do is we're going to go in for two counts out for two counts in for four out for four in for six out for six in multiple uh, multiples of two all the way up to 12 so try it with me what you want to make sure that you're doing is you know not pushing yourself when you're feeling like it's too far for you so if you start to feel lightheaded stop um, and gradually work up to the next count what you want to do each time the count increases though is make sure that you're breathing in slower and breathing out slower because often as we get to the higher numbers people breathe all in at once and then they're holding their breath for like five ten seconds and we don't want that you want to just make sure you're slowly coming in slowly going out and getting used to those muscles moving in that way so sitting up nice and straight relaxing your shoulders we're going to breathe in for two out for two okay together breathing in out four out six out good and a reminder here we're gonna go up to eight and when you go to eight breathe in slower we don't want to overfill so you don't want to go you want to go relax this let out any excess air and we want to just go straight down to the stomach almost like there's a tube down to that part and skip this area so eight ready breathing in through all the way to 12 I'm gonna I'm gonna do 10 and 12 now if you find 8 hard you don't have to do these with me but gradually and eventually I want you to try and get there so let's do 10 so breathing in Out. 
good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, speaking about registers. So registers basically just describe where your sound resonates in the body. I don't know if you've heard the terms before, but we have chest voice, head voice, and mix. You put one hand on your chest and go to hum. You should feel your hand vibrate. If it's vibrating here, it's your sound is resonating in your chest voice, yeah? Normally it's a lower sound. As we get higher, we get to a point where your throat starts to get tight, often if you haven't had training, and we hit a break. Some people try and push chest voice up, or they kind of like flip into this airy falsetto-like sound. Instead of doing that, what you wanna do is learn to move the muscles in a new way so that you can transition from your chest voice to your head voice smoothly without that strain. When we do that, we call that mixing or mix voice. And we're gonna work on that over time. It takes time for some people. It de really depends on the person and how much strain you normally have when you sing and what habits you've built through the years in that way. All right, when we get to um, the higher register, so like say I sing a note here, sing that with me, one, two. We will feel it higher in the body, so you feel it in your head space, yeah? That's your head voice, yeah? So that's just a bit about registers. Um, we're gonna start on some exercises to sort of move um, through your break and move over that section and then strengthen your voice as well and relax that throat. So I'm gonna start with a really simple one and it's just a warm up. Um, it goes up and down five notes and it starts on a hum. And we're gonna imagine that the sound is sort of buzzing in front of the teeth and behind the lips. So we're gonna go mmm, like you've smelled something really nice and you're almost like chewing. So Mmm, yeah? So we're gonna go from a G below middle C, and we're gonna go mm, Do it with me. Good, moving up one. Should you sort of feel it vibrating here. to something we've got on the screen. We're gonna start with pattern number one, which is the A major arpeggio. If you read music, great, it's there. If not, I'm gonna go through it anyway so you can sing along with me if you learn in a more audio type way. So as you can see there, we've got 80 beats per minute. So we're gonna get the metronome and we're gonna put it on 80 beats per minute. And there's a time signature, which is uh, up here. You may not be able to see it, but it says 4-4 four, four over here on this section as well so you can see here is your time signature so you want to put it on four counts and four beats per bar yeah so we're gonna put it on six uh, sorry 80 yeah and then we're gonna go through that so we're gonna do it on an off and we're gonna go hold the first one for eight counts so those two bars at the start are gonna be held for eight so nice deep breath in Good. So now I'm going to give you a little technique that can help you relax the throat as you move up and down that scale. Sometimes people try and push at the top note without even thinking, they kind of get tight in the throat. So we're gonna do something to relax that. So if you put one hand on your throat, and I want you to try and yawn. So imagine you're 
dropping the back of the throat, and we're going to yawn, and we're going to go, oh, yeah. So when we pre, this is called a pre-yawn. When we pre-yawn, we physically lower our larynx, so it's a little easier to sing higher with less strain. So as you breathe in, I want you to imagine that the in-breath is like a relaxation into the body. So it's like we're dropping the shoulders, we're dropping the air into the body, we also drop that throat. We don't push it down, we don't hold it there, we just relax it down so that it's a good setup for the exercise. So I'm going to put that on again, One, and we're going to try that deep breath, pre-yawn, ready, breathing in. Good. So that should feel a little less tight at the top. Now we're going to do it with that long hold at the start. So we're going to hold that count of eight. So nice deep breath. And then I want you to breathe before that arpeggio. So we're going to deep breath in. Try it without me. All right, you ready? Deep breath in, pre on. Cool. All right, so we're going to now move on to another exercise. This one is still using your pre on, but it's going to help you move up through your range, hopefully go over that break and into your head voice. So this is um, an O oh as well. And we're gonna use, if you can see on the screen, there is that bottom scale here. So it's gonna go from the A, so we're gonna go to the octave and then back down. The only thing is we're gonna just take this section here and we're gonna do that in different keys to try and move you through your break, yeah? So I'm going to put it on 80, and we're going to stay in 4-4 four, four for this one. Okay. Nice deep breath in, free on. Two, three, four. Oh. my voice and tone changes as I get higher so I'm getting tight there yeah so reaching up which is a subconscious thing that a lot of people do to try and help themselves is actually a little bit counterproductive so instead of going up this way we want to center ourselves you can always check by putting a hand on the back of the head that it's nice and flat yeah and we're gonna reach if we have to with the eyebrows, okay? <laughs> and you wanna imagine the sound going up and over, yeah? Instead of under, yeah? So there is a sweet spot that we can aim for to try and get the sound to resonate, and that is between the hard and soft palate. If you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, behind the teeth, can you feel the hard bit? And then we wanna move it back and we want to feel where that hard palate ends and that soft bit starts. It should be sort of central. So that's where you're going to be aiming. You're going to aim up between the hard and soft palate and over. Okay? So I want you to imagine you have like a surprised face at the top as things get higher. So we're going to go, yeah, get a little bit surprised at the top. Okay? So I'm going to put uh, this on again. And we're going to go actually from G this time a little bit lower and work our way up. Deep breath in, pre on. Yeah. 
look at one for relaxing the throat and also starting to move over that break in a smooth way okay we're going to give you um, also just a major scale to start practicing getting used to what that sounds like and how it feels in your voice so if you look at that sheet up here we have a major yeah so this is also going to be with 80 beats per minute we're going to hold this first one for eight counts and then we're going to move up and down the scale the the last note is held for two counts and the rest of them are one one count per beat okay so it goes before i put the metronome on just like do it on a do bar as well so like what they use in scat singing for jazz um, we're going to use something like that. We're going to go do, okay, now let's go with the metronome. I'll do it once with you and then I want you to try it by yourself, okay? Just for the piano. All right, ready? Deep breath in. Cool. And you can try it on all sorts of vowels. I would start with just duba and see how you go with that um, as you get more familiar you can also increase tempo to get used to moving faster through the scale um, but yeah that's that's a good warm-up so if you can try at least do like about 10-15 minutes of warm-up before you get into singing it can be really helpful on your voice okay, so we're gonna go through skinny love as our first song there are a couple different versions for different types of voices there is the one by birdie um, which is very high so I would suggest people who lean towards being sopranos. Um, and then there's Bon Iver's version, which is a lot more um, stripped back and I actually really like it. It was one of my favorite versions uh, of the song. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm just gonna sing you a couple verses and the chorus, and then we're gonna break down how it goes and how we can get the best out of our sound through this. So. Come on, skinny love, just last thing. transitioning in this song um, some people do belt it but I want to work on smoothing the register through that break point yeah so you know how we did that pre yawn I want you to try and imagine that when you're going high we're gonna put into practice that pre yawn and then that where you're aiming the sound so we're gonna aim up between the hard and soft palate for example at the start 
We could go into chest voice, we could belt it, but I tend to go into belt once we are really solid with the other techniques. So I wanna get your head voice solid and your chest voice solid and then connect them. So the first bit will go, so the first bit is sort of more chest voice, come on, but then on is your head voice. So come on skinny love, just last the year. So we're gonna go, come on skinny love and aim up, eyebrows up at the top. So try that first line with me and we're gonna do a deep breath pre on. Come on skinny love, just last the year. Yeah? Same thing for the second line. Pour a little song, we were never here. Staying in chest. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Staring at the sea, crush the knee. And that really low note, crush the knee, is going to be. Um, in your chest but sometimes when people go low they subconsciously think down so I want you to imagine that instead of reaching down for that sound we're thinking forward so we're gonna do crush the knee and sigh it into the chest like if you're getting like to have a yawn <laughs> we want to go oh yeah and then think forward ma, 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 ma. staring at the sea So let's try those two lines. So, staring at the sink of blood and crush the knee. Yeah, you want to relax it forward, and for that low low register, think forward, relax it, sigh it into the chest. Okay, we're gonna try that next verse. So sing it along with me. Yeah. move up between the heart and the palate and we want to move into that mix or head voice and come back down the last line yet again for the lower notes think forward when we get to that chorus so I told you to be patient I told you to be fine a lot of it is sort of spoken so if you imagine speaking on pitch but for told we're gonna like go up into that same spot so between that sweet spot, between the high and soft palate. And uh, told, yeah? So try and go, hootie, go, ooh, like you're about to yawn onto the note. Ooh, yeah? Ooh, and then go, told, told. So it's a G, yeah? And I told it to be patient, and I told. It can help also with high notes, instead of reaching up for it, if you imagine you're landing on top of it. So you're reaching over and then landing on top of it, okay? So we're gonna try that chorus together, okay? Think up and over, eyebrows up at the top, and just like, oh, that's a hootie at the top. And I told you to be patient,
Okay, so I'm gonna sing it through one time <laughs> and then hopefully you can sing it along with me thinking of those techniques. Don't forget to breathe and that pre-yawn is gonna set up your throat. So deep breath, pre-yawn and sing in between the lines we're singing, okay? So first little bit. <laughs> in the different versions so feel free to look up Bonnever or Birdie try singing with them and then try doing it to like a karaoke or backing track without them and see how you go it's always really useful to record yourself so that you can give yourself constructive feedback um, and yeah hopefully these tips helped you a little bit I know that the pre yawn definitely has helped me throughout my life with my singing um, just working on all those things we talked about today so we're going to go through the breath make sure you do that hum to warm up we're going that pre on with the off so that's relaxing your throat dropping that larynx and moving up over that major arpeggio that we showed before I'll just skip back across to that one go over here okay okay yeah here we go okay so so this is the one we're going to be using for that off. So just that, this section of this. And then we're going to do um, the major scale here on the do bar. So we're going to put it to 80 beats per minute and go through that. And then, yeah, uh, you want to get a metronome. So get a metronome app and put it on 60 to 70 beats per minute and go through that breathing warm up as frequently as you possibly can. It's been a pleasure being with you today and thank you for being here and I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Mahalo.